Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining us on today's series of Collector Car. <laughs> anyway, listen, the truth of the matter is there are cars that will come and go along the way. Like, let's just say you went back in time, 1968, right? You said, hey, you know what, man? I'm going to buy myself a GT500 KR. I'm probably just going to keep it, right? What do you pay? $40, $500 for it? I'm guessing somewhere in between four and 5000 somewhere in that range. And you decide to keep it in today, 2019, where they're selling for you know, 300 plus thousand dollars, right? Is this car here that same scenario just ahead 40 years, right? Think about that for a second. Right here we have an anniversary car, 40th anniversary, 6,000 mile, original paint, original GT500 KR1 of only a thousand built. Ford built over 100,000 Mustangs this year, right? 100,000 Mustangs, and this is one of 1,000. It's actually one of 400 because of this color right here. The exact number is 400 and, sorry to bring my glasses, 76, all right? So what I want to say to you is this. What makes this car very special is the GT500 is a great car. It is a ton of power with a ton of transmission and everything. This is up the game even more. The difference is this is very expensive. So the GT500, the factory car, right, built at the factory, not sent to Shelby American. This car here, taken off the assembly line, starts as a GT500, then shipped to Las Vegas where they do their thing. So they do their styling treatments, they do the exhaust upgrades, the performance tunes, all the little stuff in here, and then you get this little sticker. This little sticker right here is above and beyond the price of a Shelby. Not This is not the price of the car, this is the modification that the factory did for $35,000 above almost a $50,000 sticker price. So this car is almost $80,000 new. This is what I'm talking about. Here's a chance for you to get on board and get in, right? To get in the collector car area in a low mileage, beautifully taken care of. These people loved this car, right? And uh, here's a chance for you to get that as well. So let's look at some factory paint, right? You can see here how beautifully done it is. Uh, the blue stripes, and the blue stripes are actually coated at the factory to let you know how many they built, silver with the blue stripes. And the factory paint really has got a great shine to it. Let's take a peek under here because if you go to a car show, you're going to get a lot of questions like, tell me why is this car different than any other car uh, made like a GT500? Well, for instance, we talked about the tune and things like that, but there's also some great pieces under here that come from the factory. For instance, here is a number of this car, all right? riveted on here. The reason I point that out is because of cars that have been in an accident, they would have to replace these items, right? Shelby doesn't have any more of these tags. They're not producing them anymore, so you can't get them. Here's a great little sticker here because a lot of times this could be used for the track. They upgraded this ABS and traction control, right? As well as this Ram Air hood system that feeds this coal air to intake right in here. Here's Shelby talking about the emissions as well. Beautifully done right there. All right, and this is right here is a nice little touch. These billet caps, they look really, really great. But also too here, these engines are hand built. Uh, this one has happened to be built by Jeff and Gary. They signed this engine, right? These have been known for a slight tune to get 600 horsepower, super easy. And keep in mind, this same engine 
uh, later on in life made almost 700 horsepower, so it's not uncommon for people to have 700 horsepower in these, but this car is bone stock. It's just the way you'd want it, just like it rolled off the showroom floor, and that's why it looks so good if you went to a car show. It looks like it's brand new underneath. All right, just a quick look, a couple facts. The Brembo brakes are sitting inside there, which would be standard on a GT500, but these wheels are special. They're uh, with Shelby embossing on them. They say GT500KR on them, and they've been polished with walnut shells. They're made by Alcoa. Alcoa also makes the big wheels for uh, uh, 18 wheelers. Throw in this carbon fiber lower spoiler here, which looks really, really nice. Your call outs for 40th anniversary, and of course, that nice blue call out on the side, TT500KR, lets you know that you have something special. All right, so part of the originality of a car, or part of the collectability of the car, is the originality of the car. This is an electronic paint meter, so a lot of people say they can tell if cars have paintwork or not. You really can't tell with today's modern finishes, but this right here measures the thickness of paint in mils, millionths of an inch thick, right? And so when we walk around here, uh, it's going to give us a reading, all right? This is 6.0, so uh, a range of either two up or two down, so up to four down or up to eight above would mean that this is original paint on the car. When it gets to like nine, 10, 12, 15, right? We know it's been painted. Body shops don't really care if they make a thicker paint on the car. They just want to do a good job. And that's why you know if this is uniform all the way around, that's what we have. So let's start with this fender right here. All right, the hood you can't do because the hood is made of composite and it won't read. So it's just left over from this fender here, all right? And as we finish up this panel here, there we go, 6.0, exactly as we hoped, factory fresh paint. To the untrained eye, they might not notice, but this is a different exhaust system that comes on the KR, all right? Much bigger tips there, much bigger free flow exhaust. This little cap right here that says KR instead of GT500. This back end has always been so great with the stripes and what have you, all right? Let's take a peek inside the trunk here and we'll check that out. All right, so let's take a peek inside here. All right, so here we have part of the Shaker 1000. This is the top of line stereo you could get from them uh, during that time. This is a subwoofer back here. Still leaves you a lot of trunk here. You could go away for a nice weekend or what have you. You can imagine going away for a nice weekend to the beach or going up to the mountains, rolling through the curves, shifter rowing up and down in this thing, man. Just you and your girl or you and your guy, whatever, smiling away. How are you doing? All right, so come on in here for a second. I love this, the fact that the gauges, you can change the colors of them there. All right, so part of the collector car series is that this plaque here is numbered. Uh, it's etched with uh, Carol Shelby's name on it, right? And on top of it, this car has almost every option you could possibly get. But what's most important about getting a collector car, can you imagine if you were buying a 1968 GT500 KR and you had all of these things. For instance, you had the original window sticker for the car, okay? Not legal for sale because this car was taken off the line and sent to Shelby American for its modification, which is so cool because then Shelby generates their own window sticker. So this car was $45,820 just for the car, then to Shelby again for $35,000 modification, right? And then we go ahead and we get our emissions stickers and things like that. We get certificates of authenticity, right? Here's where the values lies up in. Letter from Shelby American, all kinds of cool stuff in here. This is great, great pieces of documentation. And this, my friends, is what separates some collector cars from others, all right? And then not to mention uh, ultra low miles and uh, ridiculously nice condition. Garaged and loved its entire life. Uh, it's claimed to have never been driven in the rain, has all of the modern conveniences such as you go on, like power seats and power windows and cruise control and, and a lot, a lot of power. <laughs> So to close up the video on this spectacular, ultra rare, right, collectible GT500 KR, this is the kind of car I would be looking to purchase myself. It has documentation, it has owner history, it has exceptional condition, and it's loaded with equipment, right? I know uh, a time will come on that this car will go up in value, and it's investment grade for me. So anyway, get in early if you can, man, because this could be that next big car that, uh, that comes along because Carroll Shelby is no longer with us. Right? He's no longer with us, so anything with his name that his factory really did, not something they just stamped on, but something his factory did right there in Las Vegas, which they did this car, uh, continues to go up. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this GT500 KR. And listen, if you have some great Mustang stories, I'd love to hear about them. You have any GT500 stories, GT500 KR stories, any cool Mustang history, we would love to hear that chiming down the bottom. Anyway, also too, you can click on the link below and uh, check out prices, uh, test drives, 
uh, other inventory, all kinds of great stuff. Thanks.